Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing this evening? So it is, I think it's like, um, let's see, like five after six, 10 after six, and I am like hurrying and rushing to get things done. Um, I slept in a little bit today, and then I went to the pool for a little bit, and I cleaned up the house a little bit, and did some things around here, did laundry, made the bed, hung out with a little dog for a little bit, filmed a drama video, filmed a video for my Peter Dustuff channel, <laughs> what's in my pool bag video, and um, uh, now I'm vlogging, and I'm uploading videos as I do this, and then I'm going to take a very quick shower and change so that Alex can take me over to Tanya's, and then from Tanya's house, she and I and another one of our friends are going to go to our home group meeting, and then that friend is going to drive me home from the meeting back to the house. So that's the plans for this evening, and then um, I'll probably watch something on TV tonight. I don't even have any idea. Last night I finished the Victoria's Secret Angels and Demons documentary and I had such a strong reaction to that documentary. It was very, very scary and um, yeah, like just the implications of what they talk about in there are so profound that I was like um, and so scary to I, I don't know. I, I am thinking about doing an entire video about it um, and if I do, I'm not really sure if I'm going to put it up on my Peter Dustuff channel yet or on my Peter Mon channel. So I don't want to talk too much about it over here. Um, I actually got a comment last night from somebody that has watched my vlog for a long time. And they said that, or she said that, I give too much away when I talk about shows. And that it's almost to the point where she doesn't want to watch the vlogs anymore. She can't watch the vlogs anymore because it's like ruining shows for her. You guys, I really, really, and I'm sorry if I do that. I'm really, because I don't like when people spoil stuff for me. But I really try to just show what's like in the trailer. Or I talk about what's in the trailer for the show. Or just like in the first five or ten minutes. Like I don't talk about like... But I guess sometimes I do because I get carried away and I just love talking about TV shows and books and so I get carried away. Um, so I will try to be better at that because I don't want to ruin shows for people because I don't like when people ruin shows and books for me. So I will, so I heard that. So thank you for bringing that to my attention and I will try to do a better job. But I don't think like, okay, and maybe I'm wrong, but like me saying like, watching the Victoria's Secret documentary, Angels and Demons, and then it's called Victoria's Secret Angels and Demons. It's on Hulu if you want to watch it. It's three episodes. Um, I don't feel like me saying, like, the implications of what they imply are really scary. Like, I don't feel like that's spoiling. Is it? I don't, maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe you guys want to go into these things with absolutely no idea whatsoever. But I don't feel like if somebody said that to me, like, that would ruin really, like... I don't know. I just don't think that I feel like that that would ruin the, the excitement for me. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, you know? Like, Tanya, she'll tell me, like, a whole story. Like, she'll be like, I'm reading this book. Well, what's it called? I don't know. Well, who's it by? I don't know. And so that way, like, I don't know, like, going into the book, like, if this is somebody that I might want to read or if it's on my list of books that I want to read. So she did this with a silent patient several years ago. And I still, to this day, remember what she told me about the ending of the book. And I have The Silent Patient on Audible, and I've wanted to read it because so many people have recommended it and said it was a great book and it was a bestseller. And I'm like, yeah, but, like, I remember what she told me. Like, Tanya tells you the whole story, right? So, I don't know. Maybe that's what I'm comparing it to. But I don't want to be somebody that spoils TV shows and uh, books and things like that. So I will do a better job, okay? And, like, with books, I will only talk about whatever is on the synopsis on the back of the book or on like what they read on Goodreads. I won't say any more than that. And on TV shows and movies, maybe I'll just say like I really like it or I don't really like it. I don't know. I just have some, I don't have anybody to talk to about these things and I have so many feelings and thoughts about them. Isn't this Starbucks cup so pretty? I, think, I haven't taken the price tag off of it. And you can tell because I even like washed the cup and I should have taken it off before I washed the cup. And I didn't. Now it's like all watery and My neighbors across the street are getting a new garage door. She came over and was talking to me about it today. She was like, we want your garage door. I was like, what's so fancy about our garage door? What's so funny about it, and I was telling her this, was... 
I don't even remember when this would have been. It had to have been 10, 11 years ago. My car was in the shop and it was like in the shop for like a period of time. Like, I'm like, I'm like being nosy, <laughs> listening over here. But it was like in the shop for like three weeks or something. And the insurance company didn't give me a rental on it. I can't even remember what happened or which car I was driving. I think I was driving a Bronco at the time. I used to have this Bronco and it was this, it was the, cur the color was pearl and it had a DVD player in the back so people could watch like movies on road trips and stuff. I loved that car so much. But it was big and I didn't need it. And then I ended up, my next car was a um, Ford Escape. Let me move this a little bit closer. So, um, but something was wrong with it and it was in the shop. And so, um, my friend was like, you can, she had like two cars and she was like, you can borrow my car. And she drove this huge, like Infinity or Lexus SUV. It was a very nice car. I loved it. I think it was an Infinity SUV. And she was so nice to let me drive it. It was beautiful. It was like white. And um, anyway, so I parked it in the garage at the time and it had one of those things i wasn't used to like where it shows like up oh, there's a, she's talking to the garage guy now because i can see that he's like walking in and out and whatever but like it had one of those things like on those screens like where if you were reversing it like switched into reverse and you could like watch yourself back out you know of a, of wherever you were and um and then it would beep if you got really close to stuff well i had only driven the car like two days and I wasn't really like used to that stuff. And so like I was backing out of the garage and I, <laughs> I hadn't put the garage door down and it was like beep, 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 beep. And I like rammed right into the garage door. So anyway, the garage door was like this. Our neighbor over here, she did that. She like lurched forward because she put the car in like uh, in forward instead of reverse. And it like went through like the siding of the condo. They had to come out and, do you guys remember that? I think I vlogged that at the time that it happened. But anyway, that wasn't too long ago. Um, so anyway, I did not get the garage door fixed for, it was a while, because I was like, it's gonna be so expensive, well, whatever. I didn't even call to get an estimate or anything. I just was like, this is gonna be so expensive, yada, yada, yada. And um, so, when they came out to fix it, it was super cheap, you guys. I mean, not super cheap, but it was like 300 bucks, and it was like a 10 times nicer garage door than the one we had before, and they like painted it the exact same. The guy was so nice that installed it. I mean, it was so modernized compared to the one. I think the one that we had was like the original one with the condo. And it, this was like a modern one and whatever. And it's like has like the squares. And you guys know what I'm talking about. Instead, this one was just like, it just like folded. And so she was like, we want one like yours. Like, because it looks so like updated and modern. And it's really, really nice. And I was like, it is. The thing is, the one that we have has like a lifetime warranty on it. Because there's like a sticker on the inside of it that says like if you know problems call and it's like lifetime warranty i remember that and um i mean we only have a single car garage so it's not like it was huge or anything like that but i thought it would be so expensive to fix and it really wasn't so anyway i cannot vlog for a long time you guys today because um of having to go to this meeting i have to take a shower quickly and then alex is going to take me over to tanya's so we have to leave here about 10 after 7 and I gotta make sure my video stuff is done before all that. So um, this vlog I'm going to upload while I'm gone and then I will post it when I get home tonight, which should be about 10.30 or 11. It should be ready by then. Hopefully if I have everything done, but I like to go to my meeting and not be like stressed about posting and having, you know, like be like, okay, this isn't up yet, this isn't ready yet. I like to be like ready when I go so I can just enjoy like hanging out with my friends and go to the meeting and whatever, because. I don't want to be like sitting out, you know, in my friend's car or being like before I go into the meeting being like, okay, I got to post the meeting before I or post the video before I go into the meeting. I don't want to do that. I just want to like show up at Tanya's and have it all done. So, and there's my other neighbor. She's looking at her plants. 
it was supposed to be like really sunny today and it was sunny and then it was cloudy and then it was sunny and then it was cloudy and I only went to the pool for like 20 minutes and I just sat there I just <laughs> didn't even really do anything and um I got up there and I was like I shouldn't have even come down to the pool like this was an incredible waste of time but I think tomorrow and Thursday it's supposed to be really nice I need to get up earlier is what I need to do tomorrow. I set my alarm today for like 11 and I ended up sleeping like like an hour after that. So, oh, but I did start um, the Fangirl Manga Volume 2 last night. I got like 30 pages in. It's really good. I don't know what the problem is. I have my reading glasses on and everything. Maybe it's because it's so dark out here. I don't remember it being like that in the past, but I used to be able to read out here at night, no problems whatsoever. And I was reading last night and I was like, it is really dark. Like I'm having a hard time like seeing this. I need to get one of those little like, you know, um, like attachment lamps that you use like for your, I don't, to be honest with you, I've had those in the past. I don't love them because it's hard to turn pages and stuff like that. And it just makes reading like so much more difficult. Um, personally, that's what I think. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? They have the lamps that kind of like go over the book and then they have the ones where it's like you can have them on the page. But typically every time you turn on the page, you have to like readjust it. And I don't love that. Um, so I don't know what to do. I don't know if maybe I could get like a little lamp that I could like attach to right here or something to have out here. Um, so I can read out here or whatnot at night. But it was fun. I missed, I could, I realized I missed me. I mean, reading a manga is so easy. It's like, you know, a graphic novel. But I kind of missed it, so. I'm excited about going to my meeting tonight. And seeing some old friends. It's always fun to hang out with Tanya, my other friend. Talked to my friend Valerie on the phone for a little while today. She was getting ready to go out to dinner with a girlfriend. And, uh, let's see. Like, it looks like it should be totally beautiful today, but there's been a lot of cloud coverage. my neighbor's husband. Oh, I thought he was going to walk to the mailbox. I was going to ask him when they're getting their uh, garage door fixed. It looks like they're settling up right now. <laughs> settling up. She's got some paperwork in her hand. It looks like brochures. That's the excitement of the neighborhood this week. Oh, I met um, this lady at the pool. She was walking her two big, like, standard poodles. And they were so beautiful. So they just had their grooms. And I said, oh, they're so happy because it's, like, summer now, you know? I haven't ordered the bird baths yet. I don't know if I'm going to or not. I feel like I should, but... At the same time, I don't know what I think about that. They're like standing out here going over estimates. He left. Or maybe he's like just in his truck or something, but like, they're going. Did you pick one? Yeah. When is it going to be done? I don't know. He's checking now, but it's. I'm sure it's the original door. The one you have? So what's the new one going to look like? A panel. A panel. He's got a color that we're hoping maybe we won't have to paint. Wouldn't that be great? Did you get any other special features on it? No. They, they were able to match ours really easily. Were they? Well, and I was like, you know, because I was worried the HOA board would be like, you got to match it to the exact color. Yeah. But it was pretty close, I think. You need to quit being so wild and backing into your into your garage door. No, I didn't do it. <laughs> he, said, he said, I said, I didn't do that. The previous owner did. <laughs> yeah, you've gone with that story for a while. 
It's not working. I'm not buying it. <laughs> well, congrats on your new garage door. I know. Our neighborhood is so funny. I love it. She said, I said, how does it go? She went like this, which means it, it was like real expensive. And I just told her, I was like, I was really surprised because I thought ours would be like 1200 bucks or something. And it wasn't, it was like three, I couldn't believe how cheap ours was. And that was like installation and labor as well. Like I couldn't believe it. I was blown away. He's wanting them to pull the cars out. Is he gonna install it right now? Surely not, and don't call me Shirley. I also have this San Pellegrino that I had for my video, what's in my pool bag, because I was showing that I also take like extra drinks up there, but I don't wanna open this because I wanna have a cup of coffee at my meeting tonight. I love, you know how important it is for me to have like meeting coffee. And sometimes, like, I'll drink this coffee over several hours. I don't, I don't respond to caffeine as well as I used to. Like, I could drink as much caffeine as I wanted, and it really never affected me. But now, I, like, I'm good with, like, well, last night late, because I, oh, no, 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 I know, I watched Only Murders in the Building first. And then I watched the, I had an episode and I had half of the second episode and the full third episode of the Victoria's Secret show. And I was like, I want to have a cup of coffee. And I had bought these. She just went right through her grass. I just uh, <laughs> backed out right through her grass. Oh, because they're both going to pull out. Um, I wanted to try these K-Cups that I had bought that were Starbucks, Madagascar, vanilla something. You guys, they're limited edition. Fantastic. They're so good. It literally tastes like, oh, vanilla honey. It tastes like there's honey in the coffee. It is so good. And I just, I didn't put any creamer in it. I just put one stevia. And so I had it out here with my little plastic cup with the cover and everything like that. Plastic mug. And um, that I got from that corksicle or whatever. And uh, I am... Um, I was going to say something to her about her yard if she looked over here, but she didn't. She's like literally in her yard. So anyway, um, it made me like really tired late last night, but I drank it over the course of like two hours, you know? And um, so like if I drink like this, like I've, I, so I got noon and it's now six and I'm still drinking it. Like, that's fine. But then, like, if I have, like, a Diet Coke on the way to the meeting, like, I'll take a can of Diet Coke with me sometimes. And then after that, like, have a cup of coffee at the meeting. I've, like, had too much caffeine. By, like, 10, 30 or 11, I'm, like, it's time for Peter to go to bed. Like, I, or, like, I'm, like, you know, now I'm kind of, like, really, really awake. So I've been watching my caffeine intake and not drinking as much as I used to. The other thing is, I don't drink as much soda as I used to. Well, first of all, I don't go places to get a fountain pop. I will say this, if like if I'm with somebody, like tonight I'll get a fountain pop. Well, that's the other thing. I'll probably get a fountain pop on the way home. But like if um, I'm, and I can get a caffeine-free fountain pop, you know? But if I'm with somebody that I have the opportunity, yeah, I need to remember that and not take a Diet Coke tonight. And see, and then I will probably won't have a cup of coffee at the meeting, and I love meeting coffee. But if I'm with somebody that I have an opportunity to get a fountain pop, like at, we go to the gas station, like I'll get a fountain pop. Because um, most of the people that like pick me up and take me places, I try to get, you know, fill their tank a little bit. So, although my friend tonight, I was like, can you bring me home from Tanya's? And she was like, yeah, no problem. And I said, you know, I can, you know, let me fill your tank. And she was like, absolutely not. And I was like, people are so nice, aren't they? But anyway, look at my hair. I used my pool conditioner that I just bought the other day um so yeah I don't like that's way too much caffeine tonight but like if like Caroline and I if she stops at the gas station like I'll run inside and get a fountain pop or you know if Alex and I go somewhere sometimes I'll stop and get a fountain pop but now I'm only probably having like like this week I'll probably only have one fountain pop I was having them all the time before
I don't hardly ever drink Diet Coke anymore unless I'm sitting out here late at night vlogging or I'm watching like a show. And half the time I drink like sparkling water. Um, so I'm not drinking as much pop as I used to, which is good, which is good, you know, because like diet pop is supposedly horrible for you too, but I mean, I know it is. I've read the articles and heard the stuff. Our grass is starting to look green again. It was like really brown and horrible for a while, but we had like two days of rain. I think all next week is supposed to rain, which is why I'm trying to like get outside and go to the pool and stuff this week because Wednesday and Thursday are supposed to be nice as well. But, um, so yeah, I just don't drink as much pop. I used to be able to sit out here and like, or whatever, and just have like, like two Diet Cokes. You remember like when I used to vlog and whatever, and I would take like two Diet Cokes with me? I, mean, I never have two Diet Cokes back to back, maybe one. And it takes me forever to finish it if I'm sitting out here watching a show or something like that. Do I have any shows coming on tonight? No. Only Murders in the Building is supposed to come on Tuesday. Maybe it's Mondays it comes on. I thought it was Tuesdays, but I watched it last night. It was a good episode. Um, this season is really good. I like the second season of Only Murders in the Building. Who was I telling that I was watching that today? Oh, my neighbor across the street. She's like, yeah, I heard that was really good. I still have my swimsuit on. <laughs> it's a Speedo. No, it's Swim Trunks, but it is Speedo brand. I got it at Target. Um... What was I going to say? I was talking to somebody the other day and they were like, even if I didn't know you, it was a fellow YouTuber, so hi, how are you? <laughs> um, even if it was, it was Rich Lux, he watches my vlogs, which is so nice. Um, he was like, even if I didn't know you, I think that I would watch your vlogs because, he goes, I just listen to them in the background because they're so calming and, and soothing. And I get that comment so much, so much, which is so funny because like so much of my life, you know, like I was criticized or made fun of for my voice or like how my voice sounded. And I never really think about it today unless I receive a com compliment like that, which is so nice, you know, and, um, and then people are like, You know, like, oh, your voice is so soothing, or I fall asleep listening to your voice, or, you know, I love you s sitting on the front porch. I am starting to get a little worried about what I'm going to do when fall hits, like, in winter. Like, I'm almost kind of thinking, of, I mean, like, if it's, like, treacherous, like, blizzard conditions, this will never work. But I'm thinking about getting, like, a heat, like, you know, warmer out here or whatever. What are those things called? You know what I'm talking about that I can have out here. Um, because the thing is, is that, like, I could vlog inside right now, and people are like, do it from your kitchen table. We don't have a kitchen table. <laughs> we have a kitchen, we have a table in our kitchen, but it's not a kitchen table, and I don't want to sit there for an hour because it's not real comfortable, but I would, you know. Um, lighting is not great in our house. There's, that's why I always stream, or that's why I always film from the one chair, because other than sitting at the table, and it usually has to be when it's, like, night, it's getting darker in there, like, the dining room table and having it, like, face towards, like, the fireplace, like me sitting there, it doesn't really look that great. There's no, and other than that, the bedroom, sitting on the bed, and it's kind of uncomfortable to sit on the bed and film where I put the camera. There's, like, not really a good place to put it. And the other thing is that if Alex is home, it's like, I don't want to sit there and vlog for like an hour while Alex is inside. And that also forces him to like, right now he's like relaxing and, you know, probably has his pajamas on and, you know, is, I don't know, um, playing township or watching one of his shows or Instagram or TikTok or something. So he can do that while I'm out here and it doesn't like affect us at all. I'm going to have to either do that or vlog like during the day when he's gone, which means I'm gonna have to add an hour to my day at some point. Well, I won't be going outside or going to the pool, so that'll give me more hours in a day. Um, you know, I don't know, I'm just gonna have to figure it out. Like, I'm not super worried about it, I'm just kind of starting to think about like, what are my options, if that makes sense. What are those heat things called? I can't even think. Oh my god, it was so funny because the other day I got off the vlog and it was driving me crazy because I kept on thinking of like elephant ears at the fair. And so I googled and I was like, 
fried dough like an elephant ear at the state fair. And it came up with all of these recipes for elephant ears. So if you want to make elephant ears, you can get online and do that. <laughs> and then I was like, but one article was like top 31 best foods at the state fair. So I hit on that and it was all, it was just about that. It was like, that was the overall theme that they were doing, but like, it was just an article about elephant ears. And I was like, so then I put in like, m like most fa famous fair food or whatever. And there were all these pictures of funnel cakes. And so I hit on them, but like none of them said funnel cakes. I was like, what is this thing called? Like, this is driving me crazy. I mean, there were literally like 10 pictures in the row on the images of a funnel cake. And I could not, and not one of them underneath there had funnel cake written. And so I'm like going to these articles and like none of them have funnel cake written. And I'm like, I can see the picture. Like, what is it called? And it, I don't even know how I found it. But it was like under fair food or something. I just like Google or search the image. And I'm like looking through all of them. And one of them was like funnel, uh, funnel cake. And I was like, oh, it was called funnel cake or, and they called it something else. And I was like, yes, that's what it's called. It's called a funnel cake. Which is why, I don't know if you guys saw, but I pinned the comment <laughs> on that vlog and I called it funnel cake. Which, because I was like, oh God. I think that's on the video called I Can't Remember, the vlog I Can't Remember. Um, so if you want to see me go crazy about the funnel cake, I really couldn't remember. I wiggled my toes and everything, which is supposed to set off neurons in your brain. People were saying that, or somebody that I talked to earlier today was saying, oh, which neighbor was it? Um, it was my next door neighbor. She texted me and asked me to go to the pool, but that was before I even got up. Um, but I was, maybe it was her I was talking to across the street. I was saying that, like, or she was saying that there weren't many people at the pool, there weren't kids and stuff like that. And I'm like, I think kids are starting to get ready to go back to school. Like, I know in Indianapolis they go back to school, like, the first week of August. And so they're probably doing, like, late summer trips and, like, they're not spending, like, the summer with their grandparents anymore and they're starting to get ready for school. I don't know. But it is interesting to me. It's like when you go to, um, there's another standard poodle. He's black though. Blackish gray. Grayish black. But when you go to like the stores like Target and stuff, the summer stuff is gone. They've got the school stuff out. It makes me so sad. I'm like, I don't usually... I don't know, I've probably said this the last six years that I've vlogged. I, it doesn't usually affect me, like, that they put, like, Halloween stuff out in August and they put Christmas stuff out in September. Like, I, I think it's funny, you know, but I get kind of caught up in the hype, too. I can't really get that excited about Christmas until after Halloween. But I will say this, that, like, for me, the last couple years... Like, the day after Halloween, it's like, I'm ready for Christmas. Like, I like Christmas. I love Christmas. Now I love Cozy Mysteries, which a lot of them circle around Christmas. A lot of them circle around Halloween, too. So I get real excited about that. Um, and I love Halloween as well. So I don't really mind that early stuff, you know, as long as it's not too early. Like, the pumpkin spice stuff is more fall to me. So the fact that it comes out in, like, well, now probably July, but August, like... I can kind of get down with the pumpkin spice in like September or August a little bit. I don't mind it, you know. I like pumpkin spice stuff anyway. I actually was going to get online today and so Bath and Body Works put out their uh, Halloween stuff and I was going to get online and I was going to like buy some stuff and then do like a haul video because I wanted to buy it anyway. But um, I don't really have any place to put it and I don't want to put it in the garage because I'm afraid that the candles will melt. I have like two candles out there and I think like they melted. I don't think they're doing very well. So I don't want to put them like in a hot garage and then not be able to use them till Halloween. But I also don't want there not to be anything for Halloween. So I might get online and see um, what they have. I will tell you that Bath and Body Works in the past, like when I've ordered stuff, like they've like taken out a candle and sent me two of something else. And like I haven't been real impressed with their... Um, and I've had candles that have been broken and people are like, oh, well, if you take it in or send it back, um, they'll return it for you and like give you another. I'm like, well, as they should, number one, but number two, like that's complicated. Like, I don't want to have to return a broken candle, you know, I mean, that, I don't know. Like, I just don't want to have to deal with that. So, um, and now like 
having to do all this kind of stuff when it's like Caroline's the only person that like takes me on errands once a week or Alex, but he works throughout the week, you know, so to get to like a place to mail something off is even more difficult or to go to a Bath and Body Works store. So I do, but I do want to order some of the Halloween stuff or go to the store and see it because I think it would be fun. I'm getting my hair cut on Friday and Caroline's going to take me to that and then maybe after that. I just remembered that right by where I'm getting my hair cut, there's a Bath and Body Works. So maybe Caroline and I can go to Bath and Body Works and then we can go eat and then, um, cause there's some cool restaurants in there and then maybe we can, um, she can run me by like Fresh Time or something or Trader Joe's. We love Trader Joe's. Oh my God, on the way home. They're like rolling up and rolling down the garage door. I literally, you guys, this is how boring my life is. I could literally sit out here and watch this whole like deal with the overhead door and I have all these questions that's going on about it and I'm wondering this and whatever because I know when it's all said and done, like they'll come out and then she'll come across the street and she'll tell me. I know, like I, I know that's going to happen. So anyway, I need to get off here to get ready for my meeting so I can be ready on time. So I also want to get this vlog up. I, you guys, I promise some longer vlogs are coming. Um, and maybe you can get caught up a little bit while there's been some shorter vlogs out there. I don't remember how long yesterday's vlog was. I think like 40 minutes or something. But anyway, so I'm going to get this up. I'm going to start rendering it so it can upload while I'm gone. And um, I'm going to say a quick goodbye. I hope that you guys are having a magically amazing Tuesday. And I love you guys. And one more I love you. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Love you.